Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about certifications. So Checkpoint has two core exams. We have the CCSA, that's the Checkpoint Certified Administrator. Then we have the CCSE, that's Checkpoint Certified Security Expert. Both of these are valid for 24 months when you write them and they cost about 250 US dollars. It's more or less always possible to find some sort of discount code on the Checkmates community. So if you're planning to write it, please check there before. These come out with new versions from time to time. I did write my first uh, CCSA when it was R71. And today in March 2023, it's R81.10 or R81. So these come out with new versions from time to time. So you need to check that as well. Other than the core exams, there is something called Affinity Specialist Exam. These are also valid for 24 months, the certificate itself. They cost around 200 US dollars, same here. Look for discounts code. There is normally available something in the Checkmate community. And these extend your core exam by one year. And I put a little asterisk there because there are some changes we will go into that more later. And these ones are needed to achieve the higher certificates, the master certificates, the all nice ones, the CCSM and the CCSM Elite. So the, the Infinity Specialists are like dedicated exams for a specific topic like VSX, MDS, Cloud. Actually it's AVS or, or even Azure. There are troubleshooting certifications and there are like specialists for endpoints. So there has been some changes made starting from April 1, 2023. This is regarding how the Infinity certificates actually extend or what is required for the specific exams. So for example, the CCSA can no longer be extended with the Infinity specialist exam. You can, as of today, only extend them, only extend the CCSA by writing the CCSA again. Most likely, it will be a new version. So if you write it today, it will be like R81, R81.10. And in two years, when it's about to expire, either you go for a CCSE or you write the new version of the CCSA. There's also new rules regarding CCSE. So if you have R77 or prior, you need to restart. Before there has been like update certificates or you can take like a new version of CCSA if you did have a previous one. Now you need more or less to have an R80 CCSA exam to be able to take a CCSE. Same comes with like the, the troubleshooting exams. So to be able to take a CCTE, the expert troubleshooting exam, you need to have an, you need to have a valid or expired CCSE from R80 or above. Before you were able to take this, uh, even when you only had the CCSA. So these are small minor changes, so to say. Um, Somewhat I think there are good changes. For example, I think that you should take the troubleshooting exams after you have the core exam. This makes more sense. Before there was no pre-requirement for these. However, I think that the CCTA, the troubleshooting administrator, should actually extend the CCSA. So there is a lot of acronyms, a lot of like uh, uh, CC whatever whatever but uh, check the certificate FAQ when you're about to write. So when it comes to the certificate itself normally it's 90 minutes around 100 questions it varies between the certificates they are run on uh, person view so you can either do it in a test center or you can do it online at home. If you do it online at home you need to make sure to be able to have like a webcam, microphone, a clean room, etc. There are a bunch of rules. So I will actually recommend you to write it in a test center. 
it's less stressful. I have been trying to write a few times online. It has worked one time, it has failed two times. But uh, experience may vary. So personally, I think it's quite nice to have the options and me personally, I go for the test centers to make sure everything's working correctly. All the certificates are personal, so they belong to you. So if you decide to change job or change um, the company that you work for, you take the certificate with you. So they, they are valid for your new employer. If you don't speak English or the native language for the specific exam, you get extra time. And this is something that can be really useful because if you're not an English speaker, it could be hard to understand like the wordings of specific questions. So really read them carefully and think about how do Checkpoint want me to respond on this one? When you're going to write an exam, it's a good thing to go into the training certificate page on Checkpoint's website. There you can select your course that you want to take or the, the certificate that you want to take. So either you can just write the certificate. You don't need, it's not mandatory to go the course. It's of course recommended, but you can at least check all the topics that is included in one of the certificates by checking what is the topic covered by the course. So if you go there, you will find PDFs that looks like this. This will cover uh, the topics, what is expected from you. So check this out and uh, test yourself if you knowledge about the specific topics in questions and the objectives of the exams. It's also important to understand that when you do one of these course, or when you do one of these exams, they also expect you to have worked with the product in real life. So yes, you can go a course for CCSA and it's possible to pass the exam, but it's still recommended to have like six months of experience working with the products before you actually attempt one of these certificates. Next, we have the master certificates. You first require to have a CCSA and a CCSE. The CCSE need to be valid. And then you can add one of these specialist exams. For example, if you decide to take the CCSA, you go for the CCSE, and then you take both of the troubleshooting ex exams. For example, you can pick any of them. So you take the CCTA and the CCTE, and then you become a CCSM. If you want to become a CCSM elite, that's the highest certificate that you can achieve in Checkpoint as of today. You need in total four specialist exams. And these of course need to be taken while the core exam is valid. So you need to have your CCSM, a valid CCSM, and then add two additional specialist exams. So is there any value in certifications? Knowledge is always valuable, so don't underestimate that. You also gain higher access within the Checkpoint website and you can actually bypass some of the support levels if you come high enough on the certificates. It's also required for different partner levels. So the higher the partner status is, the more certified staff they actually need. So this is an example of a five star partner. So they are required to have two CCSE or CCSM. And they also required to have a bunch of other certificate to meet the partner status. There are more requirements than only certificate staff, but this is, some, this is a part of the requirement. So this is beneficial for your employee because they get higher discount, the higher status you have on your partner level. There is also some hidden benefit of becoming a CCSM elite, at least here in Sweden, they have their own little elite club. Sadly, I'm not a member of this as of yet, but uh, maybe it's time for me to take some certificates. I'm currently have a CCSM, 
So uh, CCSM Elite would be nice. Little bit nicer badge and um, you get a small little award. I think in this case it's for the top 10, the first 10 that actually uh, managed to achieve the CCSM Elite level. Also within the Checkmates community there is a dedicated section for the CCSM. I'm not sure if you require a CCSM Elite or only a CCSM. Currently it's 346 members and when you have your certificate you can apply to become a member. If you want to see more information regarding certificate you can check out the SK163417. This is describing the changes, it's also describing how to get recertified, what you need to do and what type of specialist exams there are available for you. And if you want to check the specific details on each course, you need to go to the training and certification checkpoint. Then you can just click in on one of these and you can see the pre-requirements, how you will benefit and you can also get the training data sheet so you see what is included in this specific course. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.